morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon because it's yep. lunchtime. Hello. We are here in downtown Los Angeles at the Grand Central Market. Yep, we're doing local eats because did you know next year we have the All-Star Game here, the baseball All-Star Game here at Dodger Stadium, and we have Super Bowl here in LA at SoFi. That's so right. Grand Central Market is a local LA eat that you want to hit up. It's about 30 minutes or so from each place maybe, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit shorter to Dodger Stadium, right. but it's a lot of fun. Yes, and we are testing out our new Ceremonic Blink 500 Pro wireless mics mm -hmm. because you know we've had a lot of suggestions that people can't hear us, especially right. in noisy areas, so right. we, we're actually mic'd up today. Yeah. And we'll see how it turns out and then you can give us your opinion if we're too loud or anything like that because we're gonna yeah. definitely use these on our cruise in two weeks yes you're uh, you're clipped up right there I'm already clipped yeah mm -hmm. here's mine right here yeah okay so the, well, we're gonna highlight some different eating places because we've been here okay. before a couple times we have uh -huh. and with the exception of the donut man because you know we gotta stop at the donut yeah man. and if there's so many places here I think we're gonna break it down into two videos huh baby yeah because there's yeah. so many places we're gonna had it try to eat them all up we're gonna visit a lot of places we brought our tupperware just in case yes so we won't get too full because this will be our dinner tonight yes for sure you ready ready let's do it jelly sandwiches they toasted it for us it is a peanut butter with banana jam it almost it looks, looks like, like a, one of those encrustables it looks like right? an encrustable yeah. it does so nicely toasted let's open this up see what this looks like oh yeah that looks good oh wow it has something else in here as well. I think it said bacon, but I'm not sure. That looks like crazy. Let's try this out. Mm. This is a true gourmet. Can be in game. The bread is toasted. The inside is still a little bit cold. And the peanut butter is very creamy, and you can really taste that peanut butter or that banana jam. But it does—it's not overpowering the the flavor. Great crunch on this bread, and I think this part here is the bacon. So bacon with peanut butter. Oh wow. You can taste that little saltiness and that fattiness of that bacon with that peanut butter. It really matches well. This is a very good sandwich. I would definitely get it again with a cup of coffee. It's not extremely sweet. The banana. It's not a super sweet banana, but you can taste the banana flavor. It's really excellent. I just want to note that it is super loud in here. A lot of chairs clanging around, people talking. Very lively in here. So hopefully these mics are, are picking us up pretty good. So my turn to try out the sandwich right here. There is a sign outside that says Food Network rated it as one of the best sandwiches in, LA, in the country. In America. Wow. Best sandwich in America. Mm. Wow. That peanut butter is super creamy and it's, it has that, that stick to your top of your mouth kind of consistency to it. The jam, the bacon bit, delicious. I have to say it's one of the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches 
I've ever had. Then again, the ones that I make at home is it's just regular peanut butter and Smucker's jelly, right? So it's a lot better than that. You can get freshly made moles here. That's pretty cool. stop at Berlin Currywurst. Here it is right here. The last time we got Currywurst was in Munich, Germany. And that was a couple years ago. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. They put a tiny bit of spice on here. They asked me if you want it spicy, right? So here we go. Let me tell you. When you look at this, it does not look like much at all. It kind of just looks like sliced up hot dogs and some kind of barbecue sauce. Nowhere close. This sausage is so flavorful and juicy and moist. And the sauce has a nice hint of, of, um, of curry and a little bit of heat from that whatever that powder that they sprinkled on top. This is delicious. Mm. You know, dare I say that this is the one, this one is better than the one we had at Munich. What? I said it. I think these guys are from Germany because they brought Germany here to downtown LA and served it on a little plate. I really like this. What we had in Munich was on top of fries. Uh, so this is the serving size. This is a pork brat. They had all different. They even had a vegan brat if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. That looks good. Mm. A little bit of sweetness in that curry. A little bit of spice. Sausage is excellent. The curry, it tastes like very flavored, but it tastes like a little bit of ketchup curry. So it's not like an Indian curry or a Japanese curry or anything like that. You know, curry and add, I think it's the sweetness, it reminds me of kind of like a ketchup. Mm. This is excellent. And it usually comes in a piece of bread, but we didn't want the bread. But it normally comes on a bun with the sauerkraut and onions, but we wanted it a little bit plain. Yeah, it'll be really good in a sandwich. Huh? And it'll be really good in a sandwich, and, yeah. I be, and I know it's going to be good with that sauerkraut and onions if we got it on top. Uh, what do you think? How's it compared to uh, Germany, babe? This is, I like this one better than the one we had in Munich. Yeah. It's just excellent. It's very good. All we need is some beer, German beer. Yep. We want to try so many foods here. We brought our Tupperware. We took a little bit of bite, so we're packing it up for later. Yep. Then we bought our and bag. And I bagged my bag. Yep. So my bag is going to hold all of our food really much for our dinner tonight. Here we go. That looks really good. 
The meatballs, I believe, are pork meatballs. Yep, they're pork meatballs. We're gonna try this out. They give you your spoon, your fork. Here we go. You can see the really nice cheese bits right there. The noodles are freshly done. Yeah, they're all handmade noodles. Handmade noodles. Yeah. Oh, this looks super hot. So let's just give a really good bite right here. Oh, I got one noodle. Perfect. Mm. The noodle is al dente. Really good. You can tell it's handmade. It has a really good really good chew to that. It doesn't taste like it's over overcooked at all. The sauce, the sauce is very, very slightly not actually probably not even acidic at all. You can taste the pasta sauce, but it's not a very heavy tomato flavor. And here's the pork meatball. Mm. That pork meatball is delicious. There's something in there. I'm not sure if it's the cheese or the bread, but it's actually crunchy. This is an excellent pork meatball. That's something I wasn't expecting. I was thinking of being more meaty. This is a really savory meatball, but with a little hint of spice to it. You know how some Italian places serve meatball as an appetizer? I can see these two meatballs coming in as an appetizer. It's delicious. My turn to try this out since you uh, talked it up so much, babe. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, definitely, just by poking my fork through the noodles, it is definitely thick and hearty. Look at that. This, is, this ain't no thin spaghetti, that's for sure. Yeah. Nice al dente chew on that noodle. I'm excited to try this meatball out. Oh yeah. Great pork meatball flavor, like you said. You could taste the little herbs in it. A slight meat to the meatball itself which really complements the spaghetti and meatball. But yeah, it, that's a good sized meatball, look at that. That's just one of them. Yeah, we got two of them. Definitely, whew, that went high voice there. <laughs> Definitely hand formed. Everything's homemade over here. From the pasta, to the sauce, to the meatball. Yeah, just pretty legit over here. I like it. We got honey mint lime. We'll call your name in about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we might have to taste it again. Oh, no. We just got a Zipaki Sandy Drop. It's just in our best seat. Next stop is Prawn. Now we've seen this place before. They specialize in all kinds of seafood, but we never tried them. So we said, hey, let's get the best thing they got, which is their Thai lobster roll. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Good size, lots of lobster in it. Bread is on the crusty side on the outside. so. It's not your traditional lobster roll bread, but it does have a lot of lobster in it. And it comes with the order of fries as well. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit messy bite, but we're just gonna go for it. Here we go. This is an amazing lobster roll. When you first think of Thai, you think of hot, spicy, maybe some curry or something. None of the above. 
It is not spicy at all. It just has that nice Thai type of seasoning, like Asian seasoning to it. The lobster is really the star of the show. It is cooked perfectly, nice and moist. Uh, you get parts of the claw, the tail. Nice and juicy. Yeah, the lobster is cooked perfectly. And that's what makes this sandwich so delicious. This is really good. A good take on a traditional lobster roll. You can see like the cabbage on the bottom, which is seasoned. So it's definitely like a fusion between Asian and your traditional lobster roll. I like it. From Prong Coastal, I got their passion fruit lemonade. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, simply refreshing, not sweet. You can taste that passion fruit flavor with that little bit of lemony citrus. It's really good. Now, I'm gonna try the fry. These are the fries that come with it. They're called shoestring fries. They also have a slaw that, come, that you can order instead of the fries, but the slaw is already in the lobster roll. So I decided to get the fries instead. Good regular regular fries good regular fries now my turn to try this lobster roll it is packed with meat really good slaw as well that one that bite i got a lot of the slaw oh. The slaw is very fresh, very crunchy. The seasoning is light, so it's not a heavy slaw seasoning. Let's try some of this lobster. This lobster is buttery. Buttery, good pieces of lobster. The spread, the crust is hard on the outside, but it's super soft in the inside. This is a very hearty lobster roll. The high seasoning on this. Maybe a little bit of sriracha in there. Those high spices in there as well. This is good. I get it again. We had to make a stop at the donut man check it out we got the two of the most popular items which is their fresh fruit strawberry donut and their tiger tail wow now we had the strawberry and the tiger tail before uh, we went to the original location what was it in Glendale or in somewhere? Glendora, Glendora. Uh, so they have one here in LA so let's, let's check this out. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go for the tiger tail and you can do the strawberry, babe. So, they call this the tiger tail. It's probably about a foot long. Um, it's kind of a, like a cinnamon roll that's kind of stretched out and formed into a, a shape of a tail. So pretty good size. So uh, let's just bite into it. Yeah, a little bit of a cinnamon roll uh, layer inside there. Nice glaze. Mm. Yeah, 
telling you, this with a cup of coffee in the morning, that's it. Let me unravel the tail for you. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is nice and soft inside. They make these donuts fresh, like, constantly throughout the whole day. The first time you walk by, they were just about sold out on the strawberry one. But as you saw in the video, they're making them. They're just cranking them out. But yeah, I love this tiger tail. You know I'm a pork person, especially when it comes to a messy donut, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dig on right in. You're so extreme, so, babe. I know, look at this. Tons of strawberries in there. The weight is unreal. Here we go. Ah. Strawberries are fresh. The glaze isn't too sweet. The donut, it's just a regular glazed donut. So they stick these strawberries in there. This is a must try. If you're like a donut, this is excellent. Even with all of the glaze and the strawberries and the glazed donut, I still think Krispy Kreme is sweeter. So if you don't like the Krispy Kreme sweetness, you'll love this one. Now, uh, they only offer two types of fresh donuts, they do. right? They have this uh, all year round, and then they have a peach donut, which we love that one as well. They only have that for July and August. But the strawberry is pretty awesome. Yeah, this has to be like their best seller at both locations. It is their best seller. Yeah. It's an expensive donut, but it's worth it. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> That's why we eat over the box, babe. Mm -hmm. That is a wrap for our lunch here at Grand Central Market. Yeah. Now we had plans on shooting two videos here, but we, we have so much leftover food that we we're did. gonna have to come back yeah. for a future visit. There's so much food here. I mean, I, we didn't get any tacos and we didn't get any sandwiches. They have a Wexler's Deli here. They have McConnell's ice cream. Wood fired cream. pizza. We have pizza here. Japanese katsu sandwiches. We didn't even do that yet. No. And so we have to come back. So our second video, we'll come back and do the part two yes. of Grand Central. Yes, wherever you shout outs, babe. We do. Uh, Jesse Vincent, happy birthday. <clears throat> Arlene Liu, Tiffany, Louise, Christine, Kimberly, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Uh, Andy and Bill, Louie, happy birthday. Uh, Kurt and Carrie, 26th anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mimi Paul from London, thank you so much for watching. Wayne, happy birthday. Joe from the OC, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Brenda, and Matthew from Grand Cayman, happy birthday. Kenny from Cleveland, Sherilyn, oh, I made a boo boo. Keep rolling, babe. Okay, Kenny from Cleveland, happy birthday. Sherilyn and Kevin, happy anniversary. Tama Lalisha, you guys came to visit me at my work. Thank you so much for saying hi. Uh, Nick and Laurice, they always come. They they just had a baby, baby. Oh, okay. Little Gemma, little Gemma. Um, say hi to uh, Gemma and Nora for me. Uh, Nick and Laurice, thank you again so much for visiting. And Tiffany Mallow, she saw me inside Trader Sam's. Thank you so much for saying hi, Tiffany. Oh, wow, well, yeah, that was a lot of shout outs. Uh, we kind of forgot to say some on our last one. That's why the list was long. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up here from downtown Los Angeles mm -hmm. here at Grand Central Market. That was fun. Stay tuned for part two yes. uh, at a future date. Yes. Until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one.